Hello, this is Danny Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide, and as promised, this is a separate video on the last answered question in the Cargo Refactor AMA. After 3.18, we want to separate commodity trading from cargo hauling. Commodity trading will be a high risk, high reward. If you reinvest a large amount of your money, you will also have to manage the cost of loading and unloading as well as protection. On the other hand, cargo hauling is just moving things for NPCs from point A to point B. You are not tied to it financially, and it will be moving things that pirates don't care about. There will be no profit in it for them. The first step here will be, will be adding cargo hauling missions that extend the current box delivery missions once you can manually load and unload your own cargo. They will start small and get larger, and the only thing players are risking is reputation. There are a whole lot of things I can say about this, but let's start with the basic one. Is there really a point in making a scaled up version of a beginner mission? Because let's be clear, simple delivery missions are the classic archetype of a beginner mission. You see them in pretty much every MMO and some single player RPGs as well. They help players learn the basic ropes of moving and navigating around the game world, seeing new places and becoming familiar with them. And sometimes they advance to more demanding types of missions, such as collecting and delivering into a combat zone, time-sensitive missions, and versions that require particular limits to their kind of travel, all of which we now see in the game. But simply larger? Who wants simply a larger version of a beginner mission? Well, nobody does. But somebody thinks they do, and some things do. The some things are quanta, as in Tony Zurovic's quanta economic simulation. The quanta are described as lightweight, which means that the decision-making methods have to be as few lines of code as possible. Look at missions, pick the most profitable, execute. Nobody cares if the quanta are intellectually challenged, and certainly nobody cares if they're having fun. And you don't have to worry about whether they will cheat or collude with the pirate quanta because they simply don't have the code to do so. So, for the quanta, a scaled-up beginner mission is exactly what is called for to fuel the quantum economic system. The people who think they do, but actually don't, are the regular complainers on Spectrum about how the traders have it so tough because they have so much on the line and the pirates have relatively little at risk. And to be clear, their fundamental premise is correct. Traders do have more to lose in an encounter than the pirates do, but the solution is not to make the traders have nothing to lose. It is that the pirates should be given more to lose. There have been many good suggestions about how to do this, but that is beyond the scope of this video to delve into all of them. Besides, it is utterly pointless. The fantasy behind the suggestion is that if the pirate scans you and sees nothing of value on board, they're going to not bother extorting or attacking you and just let you go. And that's ridiculous. In 3.18 and beyond, if the pirates scan you and see nothing of value, they're going to destroy you anyway and then scrape your hull for every dime that they can get from it. Eventually, the biggest profits from piracy are going to be in salvage, with cargo a distant second at best. Besides, what is this mystery cargo with no value, yet people are willing to pay to have people ship it all around? It might make sense if that one person's delivery package be of sentimental value, but a whole cargo ship? Of course not. The only real-world comparison are the occasions where ships and trains are used to return empty shipping containers back from areas of consumption to areas of production. But you can't build a whole transportation system around just returning the empties, now can you? So, if having the shipping be worthless is a pointless exercise, then just give the player the commodity itself. If the contract is to haul titanium, fill the ship with titanium. End of story. Except that unlike the quanta, the players exploit things. Give them a free load of titanium and they will, at least every so often, take it straight to a no-questions-asked terminal. Or if they want to be more subtle, coordinate with a pirate player to steal the ship, sell the contents, no questions asked location, and then split the profit. Either way, a reputation hit isn't that much of a disincentive since it can be easily earned back. The answer is fairly simple. You charge a deposit to take the mission. The size of the deposit is what the contents would sell for at a no questions asked terminal. We already have the missions you have to pay to take them, so the mechanism is already in the game code. But that way there is no profit in selling, directly or indirectly, the cargo which you have been entrusted to deliver. I know that someone will complain that that puts the risk back on the hauler, and I say, fine. 
Having something at risk is the only thing that keeps hauling from being completely boring, and it isn't that haulers have too much at risk, but that the pirates have too little. Maybe that's not what you want to hear, but, you know, telling you things that you don't want to hear is pretty much the pattern here. So to summarize, these cargo missions are going to be boringly simple, not because you need a boringly simple cargo mission system, but because the quanta do. The cargo for players are currently planned to be this fantasy zero value stuff, not to protect you from the pirates from stealing it, which they're going to attack you anyway, but to keep you from stealing it. And the better solution is to give you real cargo, charge a deposit, and then find some other way to balance the risk reward between freighters and pirates by having the pirates somehow more at risk. And now for an update on our giveaways. First, there's a piloting contest for the video for the best landing of a ship Hercules size or larger that is running until 3.18, with the winner getting their choice of the Crusader Spirit ships. See the video referenced in the description for all the details on that. And then there's the Go of the Channel ship giveaway. We've met our membership goal and are now at 94.5% of the subscriber goal, or the IAE Expo, which is going to probably happen first, to give some lucky player their choice of the Anvil Liberator, the Ship Shipping Ship for Shipping Your Ships, or the Misk Odyssey, the Long Length Look Ahead Launcher Lorry. One entry per video. Members, you're entered automatically. And if the winner is a member as of the publication date of the winning video and of the drawing date, they will win both of the ships. For non-members, just be a subscriber and comment somehow including the secret word. And the secret word for this video are the things that we need to have the cargo missions be simple for. Fly safe, keep it real, and I'll see you in the verse. This is Daniel Raymond for Ray's Guide.